¿Qué onda, vatos? Thanks again for tuning in to yet another video infamous coming at you live from yet again the West Coast out here in San Jose, California. Another beautiful day. Man, it's starting to get dark. I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep on using my gold visor. Last year, no, the last two years, it's been tough, uh, you know, riding with this helmet. Uh, especially with the, uh, with, the, with the gold visor. I can't see anything at night. So... Anyways, let's go ahead and get on with the uh, with the announcement with the video. You guys are probably tuning tuning in, uh, seeing the title changes for my lowrider S, my 2020 lowrider S changes updates. What's happening? I finally pulled the trigger on the FXRT fairing. So it's just something that I've been you know eyeballing. I really like the look of it. I think it's a beautiful fairing, in my opinion. Uh, overall, you know, the bike looking, you know, uh, top heavy or, fr or front heavy with the fairing and, and the lowers. Uh, I have a saddlebag, so I think it's going to balance out a little bit. That's just, you know, one of the things where, I, you know, I was looking at. Uh, I've been, like I said, I've been looking at these fairings for, since I saw NorCal, you know, put one on, on his lowrider S. And, man, I fell in love with it. I just really dig the look. And... Uh, I did mention, you know, it doesn't really fit my riding style at all. I, you know, I typically stick to mainly town, city riding, most of it. So I'm not going to benefit from the fairing. But man, you know, the fairing just looks really nice. I think it's a beautiful looking fairing. And just, you know, change up, the, you know, the bike for 20, uh, 2023. So I ordered this uh, mid-October. So it's been, I think it's been like six days. I haven't heard anything from uh, from uh, Dominator so that's those are the guys I ordered it from I'm very hesitant especially since it's international it's coming from the left from the it's coming from the Netherlands sorry I just got off of work uh, I don't know if my mouth's a little dry anyway it's coming from all the way over there so I am a little bit worried I'm hoping they could beat the rush you know the holiday rush because I know how bad it could get packages um, you know they're just more likely to get stolen or more likely to get lost so I'm hoping from October November hopefully by the end of November I could probably see this uh, this this fairing uh, you know coming to the United States that's what I'm hoping for so I'm crossing my fingers on that I'm hoping that uh, I get it before the holiday rush because uh, I'm going to be stressing a lot of the companies I don't know if you guys saw FedEx uh, there's just the economy is just so bad right now people aren't working um, a lot of openings everywhere I mean it's just sales and services and everything just seems to be taking a huge hit so I, I don't want to get political with this video but I'm hoping I could get it before then because like I said you know, I'm, I'm running a risk. I'm, I'm running a, a, a greater risk if this thing ships right after November. It's going to be bad. And like I said, people are ordering stuff. Uh, people are ordering, you know, workout equipment. That stuff gets put onto another box. And, you know, <laughs> I'm sure some of you guys have dealt with it yourself. You guys have received, uh, you know, packages that have been completely torn apart broken somebody ordered something heavy and they placed it on top of your own item and it just broke it so we are talking about a fiberglass i was looking at the carbon fiber i got really close ordering the carbon fiber but my my payment method wasn't going through uh my uh, my credit card reached out to me and they flagged it as uh, suspicious or fraudulent so you know i i don't know if that was a message or something like that hey don't be spending that kind of money because the carbon fiber is about twice the price of the fiberglass so let's get into why I ordered it from Dominator uh, I mean looking at the quality looking at the mount I I, I didn't join a, an FXRT fairing group but I was you know just looking at people's feedback uh, JD uh, you know there's there's a lot of options there's Chinese options now if you guys been looking at eBay and Amazon so based off of you know just looking at it for the last two years 
waiting for Saddleman because they haven't announced anything on their uh, on their FXRT, their mini one. I already made a video on it. People have been messaging me if I know anything about it. There's fairings out there. Saddleman, I think they're choosing, or I'm not sure if they're selling it out of their store down in SoCal. So if you're wondering and you're in SoCal, LA, San Diego, Riverside, in that area, Anaheim, go down there, visit Saddleman and ask them yourself. Maybe they're, you know, they're, they're, they're handing them out to a specific group of people only. Maybe influencers, I don't know, but I'm not, I'm not in that group, so I haven't seen anything about that fairing. So, like I said, after looking at all the uh, options out there, looking at Amazon, I know the Chinese one is, seems to be the most affordable one. There's people, like I said, in the group that have had, uh, you know, they've, they've had decent luck, but uh, most of those options, or most of those uh, brackets that they sell are only for Dyna, Dyna models. So. The, uh, the Lowrider S does have a, a, uh, a reduced rake of about uh, 28 degrees. So two degrees less, no, the Dynas are 29 degrees. Uh, well, most of them, I think the, the Wide Glide, and you know what, I'm not gonna get into it guys, all right? So there's a reduced rake on the Lowrider S, it's 28 degrees. So it's gonna fit a little bit different. I don't know if that has anything to do with the bracket itself honestly I do not know I don't know I a lot of the images there's no you know there's no unboxing video so I'm gonna be doing all of that I'm gonna be doing an unboxing video I'm gonna be uh, looking at you know the, the fiberglass the way it's the way it's uh, you know handmade and stuff like that I'm gonna get into that the reasons why I picked it but it's just that there isn't you know a lot of videos a lot of close-ups of, of the brackets I've seen some of the JD some of the JD uh, uh, brackets a lot of the people in the Facebook group have been mentioning to stay away, stay away from Deviant. I don't know. I mean, this is just stuff I read. Like I said, I don't. I typically only talk about stuff that I, you know, have firsthand experience with. I don't make these videos where I predict and I'm, you know, I'm guessing based off of specs and stuff like that. If I'm making a video, I'm making it because I, I have firsthand experience on on a product. So I can't say for you know, for myself, I can't say. That I know, you know, what, what what bracket and which bracket works and stuff like that. So, based off of just the Facebook recommendations, Dominator is one of the recommendations. Uh, uh, RWD. There's another. There's another two of them that are just kind of like weird named. I'm not sure. I believe JD is one of them. JD. Uh, JD seems to be one of those recommended fairings. So if you're out there and you're wondering, um, you know, just join a Facebook group. There's a Facebook group called FXRT Fairings, I think. I'll look for it again and I'll post it on the uh, in the video. So, um, anyways, going back on with the Chinese, uh, you know, FXRT frame, they seem to need a little bit more prep. But I mean, I honestly I don't think that's going to matter because all of these fairings are going to require some type of, of prep all of them you're not gonna get away with it uh, if you guys saw FX DLS Brooklyn he actually shipped his or had he had he had a, a body shop do his uh, his prep so eventually it's gonna have to get prepped I think it comes down to like stress cracks and stuff like that because this is fiberglass you're not gonna be able to you know get away with some minor imperfections like you do with uh, with the molded with a uh, injected molded uh, uh, fairing or anything like that, kind of like what you get with, uh, you know, Denton. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, Denton, is it Denton fairings? Man, it's been a while. Uh, or kind of what you see on my bike with the Road Warrior or uh, Memphis Shades, anything, you know, typically anything out there. Burley, they all have their own injected molded uh, fairings. So, it's gonna, you know, it's, it's it's gonna need some work, all right. So that's that. So as far as you know, China and stuff like that, I don't know for the fitment. A lot of the people in the Facebook group have mentioned that. Uh, uh, I guess this person can't read the sign. Turn right after red. Um, I could get in front of this lady. So uh, I don't know. Maybe I don't know. Is she waiting for somebody? What's going on? 
so anyways where was I um, yeah I mean just people just don't know how to drive especially people here in California they're all idiots so then where was I oh yeah so the reason why I didn't go with uh, the China option is because of the bracket all right that's you know that's the main reason why I didn't go with that um, like I said most of the options if you go on eBay and you go on on Amazon they're mainly for Dinas so I didn't want to buy that for $900 wait a few weeks of course and then have to order another bracket from RWD because RWD they do sell their bracket separately so if you are one of those people that wants to save a couple bucks I think it's only like $400 it's not even that much of a difference in my opinion I, I think I'd I'd rather go with the uh, you know I, I would rather pay the extra couple hundred bucks in my opinion I don't know you guys let you know, let me know in the comments what would you guys do would you guys order the uh, the Amazon China one for you know $900 you get the lowers and the fairing and then you would have to order of course the RWD bracket because I think they're the only ones that sell it uh, you know they just sell the bracket for the uh, lowrider s because of course like I said the you know there's there's a different brake uh, you also have inverted forks on the lowrider s and the 2020 on the 2020 and up of course so you are going to have to like I said you're going to have to prep the fairing anyways and because of the uh, because of the forks uh, you will have to you know trim the FXRT fairing because of course you have wider you have thicker thicker forks on the uh, on a uh, inverted, inf you know, inverted Harley Davidson, inverted bike. So kind of like my lowrider S, you're gonna have to make some trimming. You're gonna have to prep a lot, like I said. So maybe it is a viable option, but like I said, it's 900 bucks plus the uh, plus the the bracket itself, 600. So you, now you're at, you know, 1,005, and you know it, you're not too far off of that. Uh, based off of what I paid for my Dominator fairing. So, anyways, I don't know. I'm just rambling. I know that this could be a lot of information all at once because, like I said, I've been looking at this thing for the last few years. Anyways, another reason why I went with Dominator uh, is just uh, they use carbon fiber on their molds, on their on their fairings, which is pretty neat. I was looking at, I was able to find some images on, I, I believe it's their website, but it's like over there, like it's a, I, I don't know, it's called Roadside Assistance, I'm not sure what this is, but I believe it is the Dominator, I, I don't know if it's a different name under, I, I'm not too sure, because I was, after, I mean, I was looking at the images, even though it's a different website, maybe it's like a, you know, it's maybe it's like a Speed Kings sort of deal. Maybe they have like a partnership and they sell their, their product that, you know, fr from their own store. But there's another website called Roadside Assistance or something like that. Uh, and they have a little bit more images. And you can see that, uh, that there is carbon fiber on the fairing, which is nice. It's a little perk. I think that's one of the reasons why I wanted to get the carbon fiber one because I knew it was, you know, it was, it was a little bit more sturdy. Uh, as far as durability and you know just holding its shape because it is fiberglass you could get you know a crack you could get a, a hole in it and the, the carbon fiber seems to be a little bit more resistant to that it's kind of you know it, I think it would hold up kind of like my uh, Road Warrior fairing when it comes to you know just debris and you know rocks and chips and stuff like that uh, you know fiberglass tends to kind of dry out over the years that's you know all of this you guys could just look at it on the internet I've been you know I've been working at a body shop since I was a teenager and I used to see these in uh, Corvettes uh, you know resin resin dries out stuff like that I'm hoping that the fairing can last you know 10 years I think it'd be nice if, if it was if you know if, if the fairing's good for 10 years but um, getting back on, you know, the carbon fiber stuff, they have the carbon fiber on the edges of the fairing, which is nice. And I believe from, you know, the images, it looks like they have it in the, um, where it kind of meets. So on the lowers, it has it like in between uh, the two panels. And then you also have carbon fiber, uh, I believe it's around the, uh, the headlights. So all the, uh, 
all the crucial you know weak points of this frame of course like I said when I do the unboxing I'll be able to look at it from the inside uh, you can see that uh, there is some carbon fiber in there and it makes it a little bit you know better it makes it it just makes it a little bit more sturdy at, at its weak points which is something that I was hesitant with the uh, with the fiberglass with the RWD the JD all the other ones so you know stuff like this you could actually you know if you hit it with a hammer on, on the wrong spot or if you tap it or something like that like I said depending on the quality of the of the fiberglass of the resin everything about it uh, you could crack your fern and if it's painted I mean that's gonna be bad if it's painted and you know you have it all nice <laughs> nicely and painted and stuff like that and you got a crack on on an edge then that's gonna suck so that's another reason why I went with the Dominator. They have carbon fiber in what I believe is, is, is in you know crucial uh, areas of of the of the fairing. So, like I said, once we get the fairing, we'll be able to you know verify that for ourselves. So, and you know the last reason why I kind of went with the uh, Dominator fairing was the windshield. I really dig the windshield on the Dominator. It's kind of you know cut into. Uh, the top of it <clears throat> it just has a you know unique look it's not that you know plain Jane you know windshield <clears throat> it's got some shape to it looks nice it looks a little aerodynamic you know makes it look a little sporty and I really dig the look so I always had it in my head you know if I was gonna get the uh, the RWD or one of the basic you know windshields I was gonna go ahead and uh, and get the uh, the clockworks windshield so that was a given if I was gonna get one of the other ones I can't see myself riding with that uh, with that basic windshield so that was gonna cost me an extra 250 for the windshield if I didn't go with the Dominator I think with the Dominator I'm gonna keep the windshield and I might just paint it along with the uh, with the fairing I don't know or I could just tint it kind of like what I did with my road war fairing I could, you know, I, I could go either way. I could, I could either tint it or I could paint it. We'll, uh, we'll decide once we, you know, get a better look at it. So, I think those are the reasons why I went with that. There's also, you know, a couple of neat little things I believe that uh, that they have also for uh, for that fairing. They have uh, they have light mounts where it's vented, which is something that I did buy. I, I opted out for for some uh, Baja lighting uh, mounting hardware. So I'm also going to be installing a, uh, a LP6 uh, light on the Lowrider S. And like I said, if you guys wanna stay tuned and you know watch those videos, you guys could you know subscribe to the channel or you guys could just uh, you know revisit in maybe a couple weeks and see if I already have those videos up. But uh, yes, LP6 coming soon on the Lowrider S. Uh, I already have a bracket from Dominator. Like I said, everything's through Dominator. I'm also switching out the uh, the engine guard because I don't think this is gonna fit with the lowers of the FXRT. And I think I'm gonna splice into my main light for the, I believe they're called S1s. Uh, Baja S1s, that's where the vented lights are gonna come and play. And uh, is there anything else that I got? Oh, they also provide a, you know, a, a windshield for the headlight. So we're gonna be looking at all this stuff. I'm not entirely sure, like I said, on what I'm getting, but I'm hoping I get it all in one piece and I'm hoping I get it before, before, uh, before, before December. That's just you know, what I'm hoping for. Uh, yeah, just stay tuned. Uh, I'm also looking at probably another exhaust uh, I'm seeing there's a really good one, a Bassani one. I really like the way my my Sportster sounds. The exhaust, the exhaust sound on, on my Sportster, I really like it. And uh, it's just hey, maybe if I'm doing you know the front end, I'm doing a lot with uh, with just you know these few uh, things. I think I'm gonna keep the the bike black. I, I really like the the way the uh, <laughs> the lowrider looks blacked out. So as far as you know, going crazy with the paint job, kind of like what you guys see with my helmet here, uh, I don't think that's gonna happen. I just don't, I just don't think I'm, I'm gonna paint it. I really like this bike blacked out. So 
just that we're updating the lights we're updating the fairing um, keeping the bars the same the, and I'm keeping the seat of course saddlebags are staying I really like the leather pros uh, the air breather I like this one the Trask so I think I'm gonna keep that the exhaust that might be changing so you guys just stay tuned right just stay tuned thanks for you know watching the videos thanks for tuning in thanks for subscribing uh, all that good stuff of course you know I appreciate every one of you guys stopping by and commenting and uh, you know doing all that good stuff right I'll beat this guy to it so, hey stay out there stay safe don't believe everything you read lies for risk get out there and ride later